So is the Jabra Elite Active 65T any good as a pair of wireless workout headphones? Short answer is, well, yes. I've put the Elite Active 65T through its paces and I can tell you that not once did it fall out of my ears, even when I did this. <laughs> Now, are they good enough that I would actually use them in the office as well? Well, the short answer to that question is maybe. And that has a lot to do with my own personal quirk. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you what it's like to work out with the uh, Jabra Elite Active 65T. I'm gonna compare them against the Apple AirPods for working out, talking about features that make working out better with Jabra's product, and then talk about using this, this set of wireless headphones outside of the gym. And again, I'll include a comparison with the AirPods in that situation as well. At Mobile Reviews, a Monty and I like working out. Sometimes we even work out together. Now, the odd thing we noticed when perusing other reviews for the Jabra Elite Active 65T was that nobody actually worked out with them, which is odd given that this is an active set of Bluetooth headphones. It's like doing a knife review without actually cutting anything on camera or a case review without dropping it. But that almost makes sense because most techies aren't into lifting heavy things and most people who lift things are only interested in their glutes. Well, not me, I'm a techie who likes to lift heavy things. So to test how well the Jabra Elite Active 65T works as a pair of workout headphones, I designed a workout with five movements with 13 reps. Well, because five times 13 is 65 and you know, I'm a nerd. So here are the exercises I used for the Jabra Elite Active 65T workout. 13 triple unders, 13 rope climbs, 13 GHD setups, 13 bar muscle ups, and 13 power cleans at 165 pounds. That's my body weight. So at the end of all that, Skipping is the worst. Skipping is honestly the worst thing ever, and these headphones did not fall out of my ears once. I didn't even have to think about them, it was that awesome. Now another notable workout that I tested with the Jabra Elite Active 65T was 27 calorie row, followed by 21 dumbbell snatches at 50 pounds, 15 hand release push-ups, and then nine dumbbell cleans at 50 pounds. But here's the kicker with this workout is that you need to hold a high plank between each set of exercises. So however long it took you to finish the first section, well, you gotta hold the plank for that long. So if you rode 27 calories in 60 seconds, you gotta hold the plank for 60 seconds. And the fun part is you have to do all of that within eight minutes. I didn't have any issues with the headphones with that workout either. I also used these headphones while I recovered. So yeah, I've done everything I possibly can with these headphones in terms of working out. Now this product sat in my ear so well that I wasn't worried about the buds falling out while skipping or doing any sort of the gymnastic works. It was the same story for the horizontal movement. I had no issue with the Jabra Elite Active 65Ts in terms of deadlifts, power cleans, and push presses, or DT. Uh, for me personally, I get annoyed when I can feel my footsteps with in-ear headphones. I remember the first few buds that I used in my early 20s were terrible when I moved around. That doesn't happen with the Jabra uh, product. So out of all the moving I did, if I got them into my ears before they tumbled out of the case, the Jabra Elite Active 65 65Ts did not fall out of my ears once. They didn't even move. They sat so well in my ear that I didn't even have to do like the finger poke, the occasional thing I have to do when I'm working out with the Apple AirPods. Now I'm not an overly sweaty person, so I can't offer any insight to those who suffer from ear sweats, but if you need a pair of headphones for the gym, the Jabra Elite Active 65T are gonna be a great choice. Jabra claims that the 65T are IP56, which sounds fancy, but it just means that they're sweat proof, which means dust still might enter the enclosure and water projected from jets shouldn't harm it. I will note that you will need to wipe down your headphones after each session as sweat might start accumulating on the charge case. Mmm, salty. Now how do the Jabra Elite Active 65Ts compare against the Apple AirPods when working out? In my workout called the AirPod Chipper, which is 50 double unders, 40 burpees, 30 25 foot shuttle sprints, 20, uh, 20 handstand pushups, and 10 bar muscle ups, the AirPods fell out three times. The Jabra Elite Active 65Ts did not fall out at all. In fact, I wasn't even worried about them falling at all. Now there is one notable feature on the Jabra Elite Active 65Ts for working out anyways that I thought was very, very useful and that was the hear through sound. This feature basically pipes sound from the outside into your ears and it, it mixes it in with the music. So it actually allows you to be aware of what's going on around you, which is gonna be perfect from a safety standpoint or you know eavesdropping on a gym goer who's commenting on your poor form. Now why would I use these headphones outside of the gym? In short, I can't stand using them for more than 
an hour. I can suffer through them for a workout because my body's going through other pain. Uh, but when I'm sitting in there working, my ears just hurt. Not sure sure I could train my ears to take it, uh, but it just feels so uncomfortable. Like having something in your ear, pressing against it, trying to make it bigger. I've tried using different sized earplugs that came with the packaging and none of them really worked for me, which is too bad because the noise cancelling feature is relatively handy in my office where the air circulation is really, really loud. But the fit issue is a really personal one because my brother-in-law has a pair of these and he wears them five to six hours at a time without any issue. So side note, if you do get these, make sure the earplug is attached securely to the bud. In my haste on my first day of usage, I didn't attach the inside properly and it got left in my ear. <laughs> a couple of hours later, I realized my ear started to really hurt and I realized what I had done. Yeah, it was terrible. I've already touched on this, but pulling the buds out of the case is quite clumsy and I'm always worried about losing them. Unlike the AirPods, where the headphones feel secure in the case, the Jabra Active Elite 65Ts kind of float a bit in the case, so it feels like any light tap is going to dislodge them. The case is harder to open when compared to the Apple AirPods charge case as well. You have to kind of press down on the cap to get the case top off. The buds connect like every other Bluetooth device out there, and if you're lucky, you might be able to connect two devices to it and have it work seamlessly. Now, I tried adding a third device to the mix, and that did not work well at all. Connectivity is actually a very big thing for me, given how often I switch devices and how many devices I use. So stuff like Apple's W1 chip in their uh, headphones makes you know pairing with different devices incredibly easy. I cannot do the same with the Jabra Elite Active 65T. Now that, again, is another unique thing to me because not everybody's running around with four to five iPhones and iPads and Macs at the same, at any given time. When it comes to sound quality, the AirPods sound better in my opinion. Sound quality doesn't matter as much when you're getting your sweat on, uh, but when you're staring at a wall trying to get through the afternoon, it might matter. But this only really matters if you own both. And as a side note, and me trying to figure out which one sounds better, trying to play the same song at the same time on two different devices is actually pretty hard to do. The last thing I'll talk about is the battery life. The charge case has 10 hours of power. The headphones have five. So for me, I get two weeks of usage if I only use them at the gym. At the end of the day, the Jabra Elite Active 65Ts work very well as workout headphones. As office headphones, I'm not as convinced though. My brother-in-law loves them to pieces. So if you found this comparison useful considering getting either your AirPods or your Jabra Elite Active 65Ts through my link, this is not sponsored by anything. And if you look at my hair, I've been wearing these headphones on and off basically for three, four, five weeks, five, closer to five weeks. And I'm probably going to retire them because I got a pair of these Run XTs that I'm going to be testing out next. First time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. This is actually one of my first workout headphone videos in probably two to three years. And I don't think I've done it actually in this format. So I am planning on doing a few more because I like working out and I like tech, as I mentioned before. So uh, let me know if you like it. Leave in the comment section below. First time watching one of my videos. I think I already said that. All right, I'm done. It's really late. Go.